Wendell Scott was a total badass. Born in the 1920s, he lived through and grew up in a segregated Virginia during the Great Depression. Honing his mechanic craft later in the army in World War II, he would come home to soup up his car to run moonshine. Once, he was stopped at the bottom of a hill by police with nowhere to go, he outran the cops backwards, hit a 180, and hightailed it back to his shop. By the time they caught up to him, the engine was hanging out by a hoist outside the car. When trying to race, he dominated other regional series. Once NASCAR let him race, he had to deal with horrid racism. At one point, he had to flash a pistol at a racist driver to get him to just leave him the hell alone. In one race in 1963, he won by two laps. But because of how the crowd was at the time, the win was taken away. Though he kept coming back, and even with all of that, he still wound up being a top 10 driver in the points at the end of the year for four straight years. 